The Three Ages of Manansala. Vicente Manansala had a cinematic, very dramatic life story. The Manansala of the 30s would find his first job as an artist in the newspapers, where he would meet the great Carlos Botong Francisco, who was also a fellow illustrator. In Baguio Nose Flute Players, you can see their shared fascination for the northern tribes, who Botong in particular believed embodied the true and noble Filipino. The Madonna. Manansala made his reputation in the mid-century among the neo-realists led by H.R. Ocampo. Manansala loved to experiment, and while he would focus on a particular theme for months, he loved to express it in different ways. His idea to marry the beauty and purity of the Madonna with the decay and poverty of post-war Manila was completely original. For Amorsolo, planting rice was a joyous symbol of the Philippines, a perfect sun-dappled life lived under clear blue skies. For Manansala, on the other hand, it was a metaphor for every Filipino's life, and it was a hard one. Backs bowed, heads bent, and hands eking out a difficult living, where he will find his real love of country, no matter the difficulties or circumstances of being a Filipino.